Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Genesis chapter 50, 15 and following. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, What if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did him? So they sent word to Joseph saying, Your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now, please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they said. Please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. We are your slaves, they said. Conscience stricken, Joseph's brothers tried desperately to save their skin from their perceived angry brother. They were of the opinion that they were vulnerable to this powerful political figure in a powerful country, a, a world power. And they figured he was planning their demise. Their insecurity got the better of them as they processed it among themselves. They therefore approached Joseph attempting to remedy the perceived dangerous situation. There are a few things about their approach that require our attention. First of all, they approached him penitently. These brothers who were wicked to Joseph and refused to even listen to the counsel of their other siblings not to hurt him, they now approach him penitently. Secondly, they pleaded with him for their lives and for forgiveness. Please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. And then third, they, they prostrated themselves before him. His brothers came and threw themselves down before him. They prostrated themselves before him. You know, thinking that they had to pay for their forgiveness, they made a proposal as a final bid to secure forgiveness. And here is their proposal. We are your slaves. Wow. We've seen this scenario play out before in the peace talks between Jacob, their dad, and their uncle Esau. Loved ones, we often think that we have to pay others for the forgiveness we receive from them. And it is true that some persons often hold others at ransom for the wrongs committed against them and cause them to have to be eternally grateful and the payback is never ended. We may even be guilty of that as well. But worse yet is the fact that we often uh, are of the opinion that we have to live our lives repaying God all the time for the forgiveness we have received. Friends, let us remember that forgiveness is free. It is free to us, let me hurry to say, but it does cost someone else. Someone has to decide to live with the loss of a marriage, the loss of a partner, the loss of a child, the loss of finances, the loss of a job, the loss of many things. Some people may have to live, choose to live with the loss of things that they hold very, very dear. If that becomes necessary in order to release an erring one. Wow. 
the grace of forgiveness the grace of forgiveness so today i pray that you will choose to offer grace to someone as you forgive them at your expense <laughs> really it's at your expense and that's what jesus did for us and further oh wow he he made the provision for the future residual effect of his payment therefore when we sin against god after we have surrendered our lives to him provision remains for us to be forgiven once we confess and repent oh praise god loved ones we will be hurt from time to time that's a given there's no escape it 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 is inevitable we're going to be hurt so let us ask god to prepare us for such occasions and let us uh, ask god to help us you know to emulate jesus christ our lord you know as we as we we pay the cost of forgiveness so that someone else might experience freedom this is an amazing concept but brothers and sisters it is in the word joseph's brothers were prepared to pay for their sin with their lives they were going to become slaves you see what they were doing was to rehearse and relive what they did to Joseph by submitting him to human trafficking and selling him into slavery they were saying to him because we did that to you you do it back to us oh god that's not how our god works my brothers and sisters not tit for tat Forgiveness is not going to be transactional. That's not what the word says. You do this and I do that. It it doesn't work that way. These guys wanted Joseph to do to them what they did to him. And sometimes we would want to do to others what they have done to us. That is called revenge. May we not seek to revenge anyone today but may we emulate our Lord Jesus Christ and choose choose to bear the cost of forgiveness and free others who have done us wrong. Should you need further instructions in these matters please feel free to text the number 6476960422. And if you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Should you desire prayer based on the word shared today, please feel free to text that number as well and share your prayer request. Please remember to pick up your copy of my book Six Practices of Effective Leadership on Amazon today. You could get the Kindle version or the hard copy and the link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. If you're living in Jamaica, you could pick up your book at the Waltham Park New Testament Church of God this week or the Sterling Castle New Testament Church of God. You may also pick up a copy at the National Office of the New Testament Church of God. The bookshop there carries our title. Uh, the bookshop is located at the national office in Rodenspen, Old Harbor. A call to that office could make arrangements to get your copy of the book. We look forward to hearing from you. Please let us know how we could support you in your local church and partner with you in leadership training. We'd be happy to do so. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. 
Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.